Welcome to this demonstration on painting a blue jay with soft pastels on UART sanded paper. I think it's important to begin with the background of the painting first. I want to achieve a blurry background, so I will be applying several layers of color to gradually build my layers in the background. I have sped up the process rather quickly, but I think you can still see quite easily um, what colors and how I blend these colors together with a, a sponge applicator. It's important to have the background least developed before working on the Blue Jay. Some of the background color will overlap the Blue Jay, so I want to have most of it completed. So once it's nearly complete, I can come back with an eraser and remove some of the pastel that is overlapping the bird before I begin painting the details of the Blue Jay. You can already see that it takes several layers of color to build the background. Once I've added sufficient color, it begins to blend much smoother and create a nice effect. I really like the UART sanded paper for it accepts several layers of color and you can achieve very good color saturation on your paper. I'll be sure to leave some links in the description area below to uh, Amazon and Dick Blick in case you're looking for uh, some of the supplies that I'm using in this demonstration. Now that I have a background started, I'm going to begin working on the Blue Jay. Although the background is not complete, I have enough layers that I can move forward and begin developing some details in the bird. I've started with the dark bands of color in his head feathers first. Then I added a layer for the base foundation of light blue to his head feathers. I've switched to my black pastel pencil to darken some of these head feathers even more. I'm using a paper stump to push and blend this color into the paper. I'm going to shape his beak a little more with my black pastel pencil. I'm going to use a little bit of some rubbing alcohol and a small brush to solidify the color in these bands around the bird's head. I'm going to zoom up a little bit so you can follow along a little easier. I'm using a bright ultramarine blue to shade the crown feathers. I'm going to switch to my white pastel pencil to begin shaping some of the small uh, downy feathers that uh, surround his eye and neckline. I'll add some ultramarine blue to his head feathers and this nearly completes the head of the blue jay. I'm switching to a dark blue to build the base layer of the back feathers and light blue for the breast feathers. His chest feathers will be primarily white, but I'm using the light blue as a base layer and I'll apply the white individual uh, feather details over the light blue base. The Blue Jay has a interesting uh, wing pattern that most people are familiar with. It'll be colors of blue and white 
with some black plumage in the wing feathers. I'm beginning by outlining the black uh, patterns in the feathers and I've used some alcohol to solidify the black into the paper before adding the blue colors and blending over it. This way the black color won't fade or blur into my colored areas. I've switched to a ultramarine blue to begin shading and contouring the shape of his wings. I'm going to continue adding the dark patterns in his wings and tail feathers to shape and contour these areas. I'm going to add some light turquoise inside these patterns of his wings and also use my ultramarine blue to the underside of the wings and tail feathers. I'm switching to my white pastel pencil to add some of the soft white downy feathers on the bird's belly. I'm going to add some light blue to the tail feathers as a base layer and then use my ultramarine blue over the light blue. I'll use my black pastel pencil to place the bird's feet and toes and I do use some rubbing alcohol to solidify the black into the paper. Now that the blue jay has a few layers of color it's a little easier to begin developing the background blurry effect for this painting. It's much easier to build the background colors after the blue jay has been placed. Before I finish the feather details, I'm going to complete the background branches in the painting. I've started with a very dark gray to begin the bark in the branches. I'll shade some of the bark areas with some brown and a lighter shade of beige to bring out the bark texture and branch uh, colors. I like to use the paper stumps to blend the colors into the paper. I'm using a very dark brown to shade some of the areas of the peeling bark. I will use shades of light brown and an amber color to bring some color into the branches of the tree. The bark has peeled away from this portion of the branch, so it will have some lighter areas of tan where the bark has been stripped from the branch. Next, I will add highlights to the branches using my cream color soft pastel. I'm adding some of the branch patterns found in the branch and I'll use some tan and light brown to finish the colors and shape the branch. 
I'm going to place my painting sideways to complete the bird's feet. Sometimes it's a little easier just to turn your paper to be able to get the right angle for drawing the final details. I'm going to add some richer colors to the tail feathers of the blue jay and this nearly completes my demonstration of painting a blue jay. If you like this video please press like and leave a comment below and please subscribe if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you next time.